You don't even care about me. Sometimes I wonder if you're even my mother. How dare you hold my mouth so much? Really? You think I don't know? I see things clearly now. You are as treacherous as Mama here.
It's perfect, Grandma. And I can't wait to see them. They will soon be here. And I'm sure they will also be eager to see you. You think so? Yes, Grandma. You are the most kind-hearted, generous, and beautiful grandmother in the world. And you are as beautiful as your grandmother. And also kind-hearted. Thank you for choosing to stay with me. Thank you. My favorite grandchild. I am your only grandchild. And you'll soon have another one. I know. Thank you. First, go in and change into a very nice dress and come out. Okay, Grandma. Seven years ago, on this day, you were laid to rest. You left me in this world all alone. Day after day, I sit to think how I survive without you. I never knew life without you can be possible. <laughs> Your children are coming today to celebrate their memories of you. The memories they spent with you. I miss you so much, my love. I miss you so much. But I know I have made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> Forgive me, but I know you will forgive me. <laughs> They are coming. They will definitely come, Karma. Today is an important day for this family. You have to make it. Maybe they are still hot. They are still angry with me. No, Grandma. Don't say that. My father has forgiven you. But it would be unfair if Brother Otebe still has a grudge against you. I don't blame him. What I did was completely unforgivable. Nothing is unforgivable, Grandma. Thank you. You are a very good child, Akwaima. Thank you for coming to stay with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you, Grandma. And I don't ever want to be apart from you. I love you too. Thank you. Oh, see my radiant mother. <laughs> Mama? Mother! Mother! Mm. 
How are you? I missed you. Oh, I missed you. Mama. Mama. You're welcome. May the gods be praised <laughs> for bringing you safe and sound. Amen. I thought you would not come. Mama. How will I miss such golden opportunity to come and see my mother? Even if I live a thousand miles away, I will not miss it. Thank I will always you. be here. Thank you, my son. Thank you. Uh, Mama, see for Yes, Mama. You look charming as you do. Ah, are. Mama, thank you. Welcome. I've missed you both as well. Ah, ah I, I will it. be really missed it. I hope you spend 12 months with me. Ah. Mama, Mama, we can't spend 12 months. Mm -hmm. eh? Siphon is pregnant and she'll be due in no time. So we have to go back. At least we'll spend some time with you. Yes, we will. Okay, I'll see you. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Thank you. How is my brother, Utube? Not seen him yet. Are you sure he's coming? Mama, I am sure he's on his way. He will soon be here. Mm -hmm. hmm? Let's go inside. Okay, mm -hmm. he's coming. My husband, I don't think he'll still come. He's already late. If he doesn't come, it will really hurt my mom. <laughs> it's real serious now. If we should stop blaming her. I'm not blaming her. Itube. Itube does not understand. He still blames her. She didn't kill him. I did not say she killed him. And somehow we just don't understand. It's so hard to, to, to understand. Mm -hmm. You and your brother. People should leave that woman alone. Leave her alone. Me, yeah, I forgive her a long time ago. I mean, everything is in the past now for me. <laughs> for me. Even if Utebe comes, I hope he does not come with that witch of a wife. You just stop that. Huh? Stop it. Yes, a man might be annoying sometimes. Yeah, she might be annoying, but I mean, inside of her, she's, she's a nice person. Trust me, inside she's a nice person. Yeah. Yes. My husband, you're the only one that seems to think that Mayen is good. Ma is not a bad person. Anyway, well, let's hurry up and go eat before the food gets cold. I finished packing. I'm going to drop the box. Mm, you need to wash his trousers. Hey, is that it? Soup is super. Chai. Hmm, Mama. Mama. You're still the best cook in the whole mm. world. I'm mm. making my own. Are you not testing the bitter leaf? I am. Which one? The worst it dry. Mm. Sun it. Mm? What do you put inside this, Mama? Is that bitter leaf now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. For me, sun. I use bitter leaf to, to yeah. cook now. Which one? The sun is heating it very mm. well. Okay. Mm. 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 Mama, Utube will soon be here. Hmm? Yes, soon be here. Cheer up. Hmm? Mm. Mama's food is the reason why it's fatter and fatter. It's nice to see everyone. Good afternoon. Ah, Mama. 
This one. Ah, you see, you see this small one. And you push come and join us before uh, the food get cold. We will, but um, we have to take our box to our room first. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you to you. Uh, no, Mama. I still remember the road to my room. I still don't understand why, uh, as a family, we barely gather like this to eat. And it's not good. Well, uh, there's no way that can happen. There is no way, no way. You know you now, you're there at um, the age of the border, taking care of um, Papa's uh, poultry farm and plantation. Uh, me here, I'm there at um, the age of the other kingdom taking care of Papa's plantations. Uh, we are all busy, so there's no way family gathering can work. <laughs> no plantation and poultry is more important than family. One day you will leave this earth and those properties will still be there. So family is important. Uh, Mama, you're right. You're right, but uh, we promise this time we are going to do better. My brother, I, I think, <laughs> we'll do better this time. So, mother, how have you been coping here on your own? I'm not staying here alone. Akwaima is with me. I know Akwaima stays here, but what help can that little girl give to you? Akwaima has been helpful. She takes care of the palm plantation. She knows everything about what my husband left behind. Akwaima. She supervises the workers when they work. She knows when the palm fruits are ripe. She has been doing very well. I have shown her all the lands that we have. So she knows everything. I am so impressed too. I am so impressed with her. Seriously, I am. <clears throat> I think it's careless to leave a child in charge of plantations. She could easily be tricked by those workers. Mm. No, not a quiet man. She's very strong. Uh, uh, seriously speaking, I, I think I agree with what my wife is saying. Mama, instead of you leaving this thing in a child's hand, why not tell me? Uh, then I would have employed my wife's uh, uh, brothers. And they take care of those uh, things now. Huh? Uh, you see, Mama has said it. Akwaima is in charge of everything. Uh, she, she knows everything now. Mama says she knows everything. So we don't need to worry. I believe if Akwaima has any problem, she will go to Mama. Huh? And Mama will definitely get back to us. So uh, we should just uh, relax our mind. Nothing is going wrong. I know you're saying this because uh, it's my daughter. And as a, as a brother, you're just trying to yes. be concerned. I know. But it's okay. I was actually uh, uh, giving my own opinion on the matter. <laughs> yes, concern. I have always hated it here. Please don't start. You know, it was your idea. We honored the invitation. You know, I don't like it here. I know, but we didn't have a choice. Yes, we did. We did. 
at least I would have given them an excuse. I would have sent messengers, maybe tell them I'm sick or something. But you insisted we come. Don't you know that if you didn't come, you would look bad in front of your mother? I don't care how she feels about me. You should, because your inheritance depends on it. I greatly believe your father was a fool to leave everything to her after what she did. You can't blame the old man for loving a treacherous woman. Listen, I understand how you feel about your mother. But you need to leave everything aside for now. We can't have her leaving everything uh, to your brother when she dies. She would never. <laughs> you would be surprised what that old woman is capable of. Akwaima. What? You're not a big girl. Though. Look at you. Just yesterday, I left you a baby. But look at you today. What is grandma feeding you? Mm -hmm. Well, I really need to step up because grandma is not as strong as she used to be and she needs me to take good care of her. She's really lucky to have you. <laughs> Akwaima, I miss having you around. Don't worry. When my baby brother is born, you won't be alone. Hmm? <laughs> How do you know it's going to be a boy? Lucky guess. <laughs> Take it easy. Thank you. So you boil this mess in for her every night? Uh, yes, she has trouble in sleeping, so if I give her this medicine, she will sleep like a baby. Okay, then take it to her now. Okay. Use that thing. Hmm? Take it easy, eh? Okay. Hey, eh, take it easy, eh? Mama, how are you feeling now? Much better, now that my children are around me. I don't think I'll need that medicine to sleep tonight. I am so happy. I know, but you still need to take your medicines. Okay, keep it. I'll drink it later. I'll be going to my room. Why don't you sleep with me tonight, my princess? No, Grandma. The herbalist instructed that you should have lots of space, so I mustn't disturb you. <laughs> it's okay. You can go. Good night. Um, Grandma. <clears throat> I noticed some tension between you and Uncle Tebe. That is expected. I know I hurt him so much, but I will definitely make it up to him. Will five months be enough? Mm, will five months be enough? Yes. I'll try. <laughs> okay. So, I'll be going back to my room. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sleep <laughs> well. Okay.
this one. Oh my. This house. I miss waking up in this room. The last time you were here was seven years ago, and that was to bury your father. It's not fair that you abandoned your brother for this long. I did not abandon my mother. <laughs> I went to take care of father's poultry. My husband. You and I know that that's not true. It's okay. It's alright. I admit. But you should understand I was angry. Who wouldn't be? After what she did. <sighs> I have put all that behind me now. But to some extent, I don't blame her. I don't blame her actions. I understand she had to do what she did. If she didn't do it, I wouldn't have been there. Mm. My husband, I'm happy that you understand. I'm worried that your brother Utibe might not understand, coupled with that witch of his wife. You just stop it enough of that. Stop going around giving people names. Not good. Did you hear that? Someone is singing. Someone is singing. Sing it for Akanana when we were children. So you want to go and join them in singing that song? No, 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 not at all. See, I really have to keep my distance while I am here from her. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. You can do that, mm -hmm. but I intend on monitoring everything that is going on here. I don't trust the people. Yes, sure. Do whatever you want. My love, <sighs> you did well yesterday. <laughs> you were so calm and collected. <laughs> yes, I had to. But you know, 
I was so angry. I just felt like showing her how bad and how much I hated her and how bad I felt about all that she did. But, you know, I just chose to be <laughs> you did the right thing. I know. You did the right thing. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> So, Mama, you thought Akwa and Ma were favorite song. Yes. <laughs> Since when did it become your favorite song? Hmm? That song is for me and Grandma. Mama, tell her. <laughs> yes. Uh, I used to sing this song to Akan and Utile when they were children. I'm surprised you still remember the song. Mama, how can I forget this song? Good, I uh, the, the 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 lyrics, the words are now <laughs> confusing, but I still <laughs> remember the song. I will never forget it. Thank you, my son. Mm -hmm. I love you very much. Thank you for not hating me, Mama. I did not hit. I was angry. But I can never hit you, my mother. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay, Mama. But after leaving, will you still visit often? Yes, Mama. I'll be coming around. And I also want to spend some quality time with my daughter. <laughs> Thank you very much, my son. Thank you. So, now you hear, Mama. Hmm? That song. It's for me and you to be. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So now that she has taught you the song, so you will pass it to your brother, your sister in the room. There's a little problem at the plantation, so we need you there. Um, don't tell me that there has been another fire outbreak. No, not at all. It's just a minor misunderstanding between two workers. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Hey! Where are you going to? Um, to the plantation. When did the workers start reporting to you? You are just a child. Auntie, my grandma has taught me a lot of things and I've been handling problems in the plantation for a while now. Well, my husband is around now. They should start reporting to me. Mm. Can you push it? It's not something serious. I think she can handle it. Come on, will you shut up there? Who asked for your opinion? Sorry. Listen, you are just a servant and nothing more. Get out of my sight. Get out! That is okay. I can handle it. Don't worry. Abaima! don't understand why the old woman won't hire servants to help out in the compound. Well, even if there were so many servants here, I'll still cook my husband's meals. Of course you will. I mean, you have all the time in the world. I don't understand. You are a housewife. Your job here is to cook Wash, clean, and have baby. 
all like you. I actually help my husband out in the plantation as a brother. So, I'm always busy. I'm a busy person. Are you done? Yes, I am. Okay. Maybe we should go out there and look for the next person to punt. I don't have that time. Siphon! Why are you always so harsh? Okay, don't worry. I will leave you, okay? But I want you to answer this question. What? Is Akwaima now in charge of all the land? Hey! Hey! And see what I want then? Hey! Me? About me? Why would you ask? A common housewife. What is going on at the plantation? How am I supposed to know? Come and stand and ask me a question now. As I remember, as a young child, you used to hate chopping firewood. But look at now, you are doing it with ease. I still hate it. It's just that sometimes you have to put hatred aside to do what you have to do. How do I feel you are referring to me? I am talking about the firewood. My son, I know you still hate me, but please... Mama, I... Mama, please, please, I'm not interested. As you can see, I am busy. Please excuse me. What's up? you think you get the right one if you climb up mama only children climb trees in my eyes you are still a child mama i have a daughter i am expecting another child so I am no more a child. I know. Mama, I, I don't like seeing you this way. I don't like when you look at me like this. I don't like it. I mean, when you see me, you, you smile. But underneath that smile is an ocean of pain. I miss you, Tobe. I miss him so much. Mama, Tube is here. I know. But his heart is far from me. My son, I want Utube. 
I want him back. He once loved me. Ah, Mama. <laughs> I went to the forest. And what is that in your hand? Bush meat, of course. Oh, that's nice. What do you want to do with it? Ah, uh -uh, Mama, let me go and prepare it. What is what do you want to do? <laughs> Please, do. Oh, yeah. Go, go. Eh? <laughs> fast about it. Now hates me. No, Mama, he doesn't. No child will hate his own mother. He doesn't. But Mama, I assure you, everything is going to be okay. I can. I want Utube back. I want him back. Please help me talk to him. Please, I want him back. Mama, stop crying. Hmm? I will. I'll show you how to talk to him. Please. too early for you to be drinking. I'm not drinking for the sweetness of the palm wine. I'm drinking to drown my sorrows. Drinking has never solved anything. Rather talking to your loved ones, people that love you, people that you truly love, will surely give you results. Let's take a walk. No, I won't. And I insist. Fine. But let me finish this. I know how you feel. No, you don't. I do. I know all these years we have lived in lies. Yes, she lied to us. But it wasn't entirely her fault. Yes, I know. Papa has a share of fault in all of this. But at least he had the decency of telling us the truth. Oh, yes. She kept the lies because she never wanted us to feel hot. She loves us so much, so she doesn't want to hurt us. That is why she kept it to herself. If you've been made to believe that, I won't. I will not forgive her. Yes, 
To me, how will you say such a thing to your mother? To your own mother? I remember both of you used to be very close. Very, very close. And how will you let this little thing become a hedge between both of you? I can. It is not a little thing. If this community knew about this, we would be treated like an outcast. All these years, we have been living a lie and what they did was so disgraceful. I agree with you. So disgraceful. But if our parents didn't take that decision, if they didn't make up their mind to take such decision, we won't be here today. You might be willing to pretend that it did not happen. As of me, I will not forgive her. Is everything okay? Where were you? I've been looking everywhere for you. What happened? It would be better if we talk inside. Come with me. What's going on? Something fishy is going on here. What do you mean? The workers are now reporting to that little Akwaima. Can you believe that? My love. Akwaima has been the one who has been around here with Mama. So I'm not surprised. What is wrong with you? Eh? Why can't you open your eyes and see the game they're playing? My, please, can you just get to the point? What is the problem? Okay. You were here. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that you handle the plantations. Why your brother takes care of the poultry? But the workers came to report to that little Akwaima when they had a problem. Eh? That means they see her as the owner of the plantation, not you. No, my dear. No, my dear. Everyone knows I handle, in fact, I own the plantation. No, my love. Your mother owns all the plantations. And she will give it to whomever she chooses. What if she chooses to give it to Akwaini? You are laughing. We will be left with nothing. And your brother and his, his family will have everything. My love. No, I don't believe that. You see, Mama and I may be having issues. But believe me, Mama can never do such a thing. Okay. Oh my God. Believe me. Kitchen. Why don't you go and help her? She has been cooking since morning. She should be done by now. That was the food you ate in the afternoon. I don't understand why we can't hire servants in this place. I don't cook at my home because my husband has hired servants. Mayen. 
despite my husband's immense wealth, I never hired servants. I did everything on my own. Mama, I am pregnant. Yes. My husband was supposed to have told you this, but I guess he's out now. Uh, you see, the midwife specifically told me not to stress myself, mm -hmm. to avoid miscarriage. You know, uh, Utaban and I have been trying so hard to have baby for years now. It will be heartbreaking if I lost this one. Please. Siphon is also pregnant. In fact, she will soon be due. But she's doing more than she's required to do. Early pregnancy is always more fragile than the late ones. Mama, try and understand where I'm coming from. I don't have strength yet. Eh? I'm just weak. I'm just wasting my time on you. Mm -hmm. Sit down there. I'll come and join her later. Maka <laughs> Mama. Mama. How are you? Mama. But I told you now. I told you not to waste your time. That woman is something else. I don't see what my son would saw in her. Mama. <sighs> By the gods, I hope she is not going to be the death of him. Because darkness locks in her heart. May the gods forbid. Hey, Abasia Khan. I can know. I can the young boy. Mama, not to worry. We've done everything. It's okay. We finished. Akwaima. Yes, Grandma. Go to my room. By the corner, you see one bag. Bring crayfish from there. Is it orange crayfish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, How about your mother? Why is she not with us? She's sleeping. Ah, uh, her condition. Oh, condition. Mm -hmm. You don't understand when well, we have to eat together all the time. We are family and we have to eat together. It helps us bond. So brother, tell me, how is life across the border? <clears throat> the plantation is doing well. Ever since I took over, year in, year out, we are doing well. That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you know, father will be really proud of you. Yes. <laughs> but you know, there's one problem. What is it? Are you aware that Mama insists we give them 15% of our income? To poor villagers. What? <laughs> I don't know about that. You're surprised. You see how surprised you are. So you can imagine the amount of income we will make if we remove that. Um, Uncle Tebe, we have been giving out 15% of the harvest, and, and it doesn't affect our income at all, of course. Why? Are you the one that will not teach your uncle about farming? So you don't have respect. That's enough, Maya. Utube, there's nothing wrong in giving out the little from the bountiful harvest. When I'm gone from this world, you will still have to do it. Mama, you know you amaze me. 
You amaze me at the way you care about other people. Yes, you treat your own like nothing. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please don't talk to mama like that. Okay. Allow the child to talk. Mama, I am not a child. But you behave as one. I don't know. After all these years, you still hate me. What did you expect? Did you expect that when I grow up, I will forget the fact that you are an adulterous woman? Why don't you dare talk to mama in that manner? Don't talk to your mother like that. I really wish you were not my mother. But I am your mother. And you can never change that fact. Never. Mama, are you okay? I need some mommy to be alone, my child. No, Grandma. I won't leave you here. Come. Let's go inside and get some sleep. No. Sleep has left my eyes. And unhappiness locks in my soul. I'm sure he didn't mean what he said. He meant every word he said. I have held him as his mother. And I deserve the cruel words he said to me. It is not your fault. You did what you had to do. Should have told them the truth. Hi, my love. You will. Both of us know the truth. Death is when they gone out. No, not at all. Nothing will take you away from me. Nothing. I do not know how long I will stay more. Death is gone. No. Death will not take you away from me. It won't. No. I don't know how long. What is high time we thought the children the truth? What? No. Hid this truth from them right when they were children. It's time we told them the truth. They deserve to know. And now. No, not at all. We'll not tell them a thing. I will take the secret to my grave, please. Then you will be unfair to them. They deserve to know the truth. And now. I say no. They will hate. <coughs> they will hate and despise me. Mm. It's pointless telling them anything. Please. I will not tell them anything. I won't. Please. We have to tell them the truth. I should have told them. I should not have hid it from them. It's all in the past now. No. Not at all. The past haunts me day and night. I know this sounds terrible. 
But what I regret is the lies. My actions is what has brought my children down here. And if I can turn back the time, I will do the exact thing again and again. I want to be alone. Grandma, it's okay. I wish my husband were to be around. I don't know. I'm also looking for him. I thought he's in here. I thought so too. But he's nowhere to be found. Okay, I'll go outside and look for him. In case he comes here, um, just let me know, okay? Of course, I'll check him outside. Okay. You are drinking again. I thought you were done with this. I hate her so much. You might hate her, but you love her just as much. Or you wouldn't be drinking yourself to steeple. How could she? How could she stand up for herself after all that she has done? No one likes to admit their faults. And your dear old mother, isn't this clear? I feel like an outcast. A worthless outsider. Do you know why I fled to the border? Why? And took care of the plantation over there. Why? <sighs> I was feeling like I am no more wanted around here. I felt like I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> After she did something so despicable, she kept it from me. I deserve to know the truth, but she will never say. She will never tell me. <laughs> from them right when they were children. It's time we told them the truth. They deserve to know. And now. No, not at all. We'll not tell them a thing. I'll take a secret to my grave. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Don't cry, my lord. That woman doesn't deserve a single drop of your tears. She has failed me. And one day, she will pay for her actions. It's okay. <laughs> leaving this place. 
I must stay here another night. No, we are not going anywhere. Why? Why not? I have told you, I don't feel like I belong here anymore. I'm not staying here again. We're leaving. My love, I would appreciate it if you stopped being emotional and looked at this from a different point of view. Please. Look at what exactly? Everything. Everything that is going on here. I told you our fear about mother's closure with her family. See, um, listen, let's not talk about that. As I am right now, I have enough problems. Please, don't talk about that. Those two are planning something and I know it. Maya, see, my mama must have been horrible. She must have done horrible things in the past. But you see, giving my inheritance to a small girl? No, I won't believe that. It won't happen. My husband. You need to open your eyes and see what these people are planning. And your brother is also... Weird. Enough, no, no, no. Enough, enough. See my brother? I love my brother. I trust my brother and I can give my life for him. See, for a very long time, my brother has been the only person who's been family to me. So next time when you're talking about this, if you don't have proof, please, don't talk about it anymore. Then stay a couple more days. And I will get to the proof you need. Please, I am not going to. How am I going to? Whether you like it or not, she's still our mother. Not even going to change it. We're family. That's all we are. She's not my family. You are my only family. You were there for me through it all. Yes. No. You know Mama loves him. No. She does not. No matter what you say or do, it will not change the fact that we're still outcasts. No. We're not outcasts. We're not. We yeah. are. Yes, we are. Don't you remember? I can't. Thank God you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? See, Mama is hiding something from us. What are you talking about? I overheard Mama telling Papa not to tell us the truth. There is no way Mama will ever hide anything from us. I know, but I clearly, I clearly hear her say Papa should not tell us the truth. This is quite strange. Yes. See, let's go. Let's go right now. I agree with you. Where's Mama now? Uh, she was with Papa, but I think she should be at the backyard. Let's go. Mama, we need to talk. Uh, ah, come and sit down. Mama, we are okay standing. Let's just talk. Uh, what's wrong? Utube, Mama, I heard you telling Papa not to tell us the truth. Mama, what are you hiding from us? I'm not hiding anything. Mama, 
Mama, I know what I heard. And whatever you're hiding from us is a very big secret. My children, no hiding anything from you. It's only that your father will soon leave us. And he says he hears death calling. So he wanted to bid two of you goodbye. But I told him not to. Because I don't want to hurt two of you. That's the only thing. I'm not hiding anything. Mama should have allowed him. No matter how this happening it will be. We should have allowed Papa to tell us. I mean that he's, he's leaving. So you should have thought. We're grown-ups. And we know that Papa is not going to be in this world forever. So you should have allowed him at least to say goodbye to us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't, know. I didn't want to hurt you. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do something. Next time, Papa wants to tell us something. Please, I'm sorry. I was planning to go to Papa's um, other plantation to see how they are doing. I heard it is in a terrible state. So I just want to go there and see how it's doing. You know, nobody is taking care of it there. So let me see if one of the workers, we can make one of the workers head of the uh, the workers there. So he can be giving us feedback. Instead of us just staying here and next thing we'll be seeing that that place is going down every day. Eh? Utube. Utube. Are, are, are you listening to me at all? <sighs> Brother, sorry. So, sorry. See. I'm lost in thought. What exactly are you thinking about? What are you thinking? Brother, that story Mama told us, I don't believe it. There is no way Mama will lie to us. Mama will never lie to us. And you know it. I know. But something tells me there's more. So what do you want us to do? <sighs> to go back and question her? Is that what you want us to do? No, no, no. Not really. I think Papa was trying to tell us something. Then she stopped him. So I would suggest we go back to Papa. Papa will tell us the truth. Papa is sick. Papa is not feeling fine. So he wants us to go to that sick man and start asking him questions. Brother, we have to know what this thing is. Okay, let's go inside. We are here to ask you of something of great importance. And what would that be? You and Mama, you are hiding something from us. Yes. Papa, we deserve to know. It would be so unfair of you to take this secret to the other side. Please tell us what is it the two of you are hiding from us? I wish I could. Father, you, you have to tell us. Mama has refused to tell us 
that we need to know. <sighs> Several years ago, I got married to your mother, and we had no child of our own. We visited several spiritualists who went from place to place, but to no avail. And your mother got into great depression, and I didn't know what to do. <coughs> We are just strangers from far away land. Well, that is not true. Father never treated us as strangers. He saw us and treated us like his own children. That is what he did. So I want you to always remember that. <laughs> it doesn't feel that way. I feel like a stranger. And as long as I keep feeling like that, I will never forgive her. No. My brother, the day Mama leaves this world, the day she leaves this world, that is when you realize that she truly loves you. And that is when you will regret that you never gave her a chance. Thank you. For what? For loving me despite my actions. Mama, I will never stop loving you. Where is Akwaima and Sifo? Oh, they went to the market to buy some things. Why don't you come back here? Mama, the poultry. I know. We can hire somebody to take care of the poultry and the plantation. Just like your father used to do. Okay, Mama. I've heard you. I'll speak to my wife and I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Should I bring Mom? No, Mama, it's okay. believe what I heard. What did you hear? Your mother wants your brother to move back into the compound. So? Are you crazy? Can't you see where all of this is leading to? Your mother intends on giving everything to your brother. Ah, uh, Mariana. 
Uh, uh, we've already talked about this now. <laughs> I know what I hate. I knew all along that your brother was kissing up to your mother. So that she will give him and his daughter everything. Maya, I don't believe that. Okay. Go and see for yourself. Go outside and see the way your brother was kissing up to her. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Mm, let me finish first. These people are not back. It's not the long they left now. They'll soon be back. Come on, Jolo. My husband. Welcome. Good evening. Ah, I even bought granite too. Mm. <laughs> we didn't go alone together. We tried to do this when people bought this today. <laughs> all this time you people were in the market. Is this all you bought? Ah, Mama, we went to the market just to buy things for you. Mm. Yes. For me? Yes. Yes, Kalwa. Mm. Just for Grandma. Yes, all these things just for Grandma. Only her. Mm. Hey now. What would you go buy something for me? You have never bought anything. Wait, I think granite. Mm. I bought you. Yes. Granot. Uh, is it yes. what I will wear? Yes. Mm. Ah, let me see them. Hey, ah, grandma, that's so fine. Cut it. Mm. I mean, I just cheat, mm. cheat, cheat, wow. Ooh, it's beautiful. It looks so beautiful, grandma. Look at it. Very fine. Show her the other one now. Okay. The George. Show her the other one. Please. Ah, you people are going to make me look fine. Mm. Don't worry, it's too rapper. Mm -hmm. True. So, people are trying to make a look beautiful. Mm -hmm. I hope people are not making her beautiful so someone will come and snatch her. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't want anybody to come and snatch her from me. Mm -hmm. Hey, your mama is a very young woman. It is fine, very fine. Mm -hmm. Mama, you're happy. Thank you're saying it's fine, it's fine. Ah, I'm happy. What she say is fine. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm so young. Please don't. One day I will have my own grandchild. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Can I help you? So we came to talk to a farmer concerning the plantation. You can talk to me about it. So we are assigned to talk to her. Are you mad? Do you know who I am? No, sir. We are we are not mad. But okay, yes, you you are one of the sons to the plantation owner. Then why are you people acting like fools? Start your business at once, sir. The harvest is ready and then we came to take permission so that we can share the 15% of the farm produce to the poor villagers like we always do, sir. <laughs> I see. I have two questions for you people. One, these poor villagers are they the owners of the plantation? No, they are not. Two. These poor villagers, are they crippled or handicapped in any manner so that they cannot work for themselves? No, they are not. Why then should I give them proceeds from my farm? Sir, your mother has always done so. Oh. <laughs> I see. Well, some things are going to change right now. And one of those things should be that from now henceforth, 
no one, poor or rich, should be given proceeds from my farmland. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. that Uncle Tibe has stopped the workers from giving out the usual 15% to the villagers. What? Yes, Grandma. The workers told me. Tibe. Tibe is testing my patience. Tibe, how could you do something like that? Those villagers don't deserve any favor from us. They are lazy. Let them go and fend for themselves. What right do you have to decide that? What right? You're correct. I don't have a right. I'm not even my father's son. How dare you bring that up now? How dare you? It's the truth, isn't it? You don't even care about me. Sometimes I wonder if you're even my mother. Stop it. Stop it. Tube. How dare you? Really? How dare you? Really? How dare you hold my mouth so much? Really? You think I don't know? So now you and Mama, you're one. You're scheming with Mama to take Papa's property away from me, isn't it? I see things clearly now. You are as treacherous as Mama here. What? Yes. That's great, because she deserves it. If she deserves it, why then am I feeling horrible for hurting her? Why am I feeling pain and satisfaction? Oh, am I too cruel for not forgiving her? No, not at all. Anybody that wants you to forgive her, 
is the cruel one here. Hmm? You are the victim here, my love. You are the victim. It's okay. Drink up. I'm really sorry about yesterday. If anything happens to you, I will never forgive myself. It's okay. My worry is the two of you. To be. I don't know why to be finds it difficult to understand. It's all my fault. I needed children. I know I did not tell the truth to two of you because I was afraid of the exact thing that is happening now. Mama, enough. Enough of all the stocks. Yes. So tell me, who makes this medicine? It's a quaima. A quaima? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I taught her how to mix it. And she's doing better than me. If the plantation is given to her, it will bloom. Because she will take good care of it when I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> He's doing marvelously well also in his plantation. Yes. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him too. <laughs> You were right. She's giving it all to Ipaima. Everything. Yes. She's giving the whole plantation to a child. And why are you so I already told you so. Does she really think of me? Of course she thinks of you. She thinks of ways to rule your life. Imagine having to spend the rest of your life Answering to your little niece and The God forbid! How could she give my only talent as a child? Taking all that I have and give it to my brother who already has! Bounce back, please calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down. Don't worry. Hmm? Nobody will take anything away from us. I will handle this. I will handle this for you. Calm down. <laughs>
brought this plate here? Uh, uh, this, this is the medicine I used, to, I used to give to grandma every night. Hey, I know this, this smell. It's a smell of a wildflower from the forest. I also have this flower in my plantation. So how does this wild flower come into this house? Into Mama's medicine plate? How did it have? That exactly is my point. And I think you should ask your daughter that question. Yes, because she's the one that has been giving Mama medicine. I... 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 I, I didn't kill Grandma. I would never do that. How could you do this? Akwema, how could you do this to your own grandmother? I didn't kill her. I swear I didn't kill her. How dare you? Huh? How they accuse my daughter of such that? She's not capable of doing something like that. So don't stop it. <laughs> You're right. I see. So you are in it too. Because I know she could not have done that alone. Uh, I can how could you? A fool. You're a fool to think that I would take my own mother's life. You're a fool to think that. You're a greedy person. So because you wanted the plantation, you had to kill your mother. Sigh. Hey. Just stop all this accusation. 
Just stop it. You know what? You and your family, you're going to be executed. I'm going to the king's palace, and he will be the one to give you people your reward. Uh, my, carry the evidence. Let's go. Let's go to the palace. I, 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 I didn't do it. I told you to explain. You didn't kill Kamala. I know you did not do it. I know you did not do it. I know you're not capable of doing something like this. But we just have to leave here now. My husband is so weird. Let, let's just go somewhere. Let's go somewhere far. Far away from this kingdom. See, let me tell you. And the king. And the king gets us. If he holds us in captive, that will be the end of us. So let's just leave here Mama, now. I am eh? pregnant. Let's leave before the guards will come. We're going to run to. Just go, go. I'm not, I'm not pregnant. What am so fit? Did you see anything? I knew it. I knew those cowards will run. I know where they are. Go to his plantation at the border. Get him dead or alive. He must pay for my mother's death. I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. I am sorry for not forgiving you. I promise you one thing. I will avenge your death. I will find Akan and make sure that I avenge your death. I'm sorry, Mama. decided to hire a few servants to serve my needs. They will be starting tomorrow. Uh, and I think we should move in here permanently so that we can supervise the plantations. Eh? I've already sent my brothers to go out for the other plantation and poultry. Uh, are you even listening to me? Utebe! Utebe! Mayen. What do you want? I was talking to you about our future. Do whatever you want to do. But keep me out of it.
I have to go back. Hmm? Go back to where? No, no. My husband. It is better for me to go back. Let me go back instead of me hiding in the bush like a thief. Let me go back and, 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 and face the king. Let me face him and defend myself for him to know that I did not do it. Running away will only make me look guilty. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let me just sit. Listen, listen. I want you to head back to the border. If they get me, as soon as they get me, they will stop looking for you people. My husband, no. They will execute you for a crime you never committed. I will not let you do this. No. Papa, Papa, please don't go. Emma, I love you so much. Ah. My wife, when my son is born, let him know that I love him. Let him know I love him so much. My husband, no, no, please, don't do this to us. I am doing this for my family and I have to do it. Ah. No, I'm begging Just you. Just go straight to the point. I'm begging you, my husband, please. please. is a wonderful cook. Hmm. This smells so good. I have had it with you. What is your problem? What's my problem? I should be asking you that. Lately you behave like a complete ghost. I just lost my mind. Maya, how should I behave? I thought you would be happy that she was gone. I did you a favor. Your inheritance is now secured. Maya, what did you just say? I suspected it. I knew that it's only someone who has lived in the border would know the potency of that wildflower. We barely have it here. But my love. Maya, what did you do? I can explain. As our custom and tradition demands, for you to have killed another human intentionally, Obangidang has given his body that whoever that takes another person's life must be killed by hanging. My people, am I right? Yes! No, no, no. My elders, my people, please. Please forgive me, please. I don't want to die, please, my elders. Shut up. Just shut up. You are a wicked woman. Yes. You even attempted killing your husband. Thanks to our gods who sent Akan back at the right time. Otherwise, he would have been dead by now. What did that good woman who always look out for the poor mm. and make sure no one in this village lack or go hungry did to you? And Sammy! She must die! Yes! You don't deserve to live for death. Yes. But if I am given permission, I will cut you alive piece by piece till you Upa. die! Yes! yes. 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 My, husband, my husband, please. My, my husband, please forgive me. Akwaima, Aka, please. Sifu, please, please forgive me. Beg my husband. I don't want them to take me away and kill me, please. Please, Sifu, she forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. No. Obong Hirong has given his verdict that you must be killed 
by a hanging. Yes. 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 Am I right? Yes. They carry away. If you can hear me, I want you to know that I am very, very sorry. I'm asking for your forgiveness. And I have not said this for a long time. I know I was hard on you, but I just want you to understand that I am very sorry. Mama, I also want you to know that I love you, and that I will always do. I love you, Mama. Papa, you might have gone, but you still live in our hearts. Though you knew we weren't your children, but you showered us with love. always miss you and we love you you are the truest father of all and we'll always be thankful to you we love you papa <laughs> I miss you so much, Grandma and Grandfather. I barely remember what you look like. I love you too, so much. And I know I will see you again. Sleep. Sleep. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. It's been how many hours now? I refuse to sleep. More than a year now. I'm going to get up. 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 i Put him to sleep. He just refuses to sleep. Sit, 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 sit. He's stubborn. Uh -uh. He's stubborn, uh -uh. just like the father. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me go and make food for you. Uh, okay? please, uh, no, please. now my wife with the baby. No, don't, don't bother it's okay, about it's food. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll call my can hand to my um, uh, uh, day the year up. Wake up the year up. <laughs> Let me go and take him. <laughs> 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 It's oh, my day. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother, mm. it's been months since the whole incident happened. And um, are you not making any plans to remarry? <laughs> no. Marriage is not part of my plan now at all. My husband, your brother is right. 
It's time for you to get a wife. It's your own one. Eh? A good wife that will cook good food for all of us to sit down and eat happily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Uncle. I, I support my parents because I, I want to have a cousin. <laughs> In that case, Akwaima, you'll be the one to find me a wife. A good woman. A woman that will not separate this happy family. Mm -hmm. Emma is just uh, barely 15 years old. Huh? Can't be serious. <laughs> How do you expect her to know a lady that has the qualities you're looking for? I mean, a wife material. How do you expect a small girl like this to know? You, you know Akwaima has been with Mama all these years. So she knows who is a good woman around here. Uncle, don't worry. I have a perfect wife for you. Hmm. She can cook very well. Akwaima, in that case, bring that woman over tomorrow. Let's assess her. Hey. Yes. Don't worry. I'll, I'll tell her. You say that, sir? You a mess, baby. I hope you enjoy the food, my husband. All right. Come on, so you know. You need a wife, my dear. So maybe we should take over for you. I know you know me as a Tebe Ikama. You know my story already. But you know you're just as beautiful as my little niece told me. Thank you, Tebe. <laughs> Physical beauty is not all that I need, though. I need a woman with inner beauty. You're right. I need a woman who will love me, love my brother and his family. Not a woman who will tear us apart. I need someone who will maintain the peace, love and unity of this family. I come back, bow with my life to live with you and your entire family in peace for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, are you saying you have accepted to marry me? Maybe if you ask, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ikama, will you love to be my wife? Yes. I love to be a wife. So you people have been listening all this while. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I hey, see this calls for celebration. Yeah, Emma, uh, go and bring my fish and my pan wine. We need to celebrate this. <laughs> yes, Father. Let me join Akwaima. Akwaima, you are welcome. Uh -huh. Akwaima, thank you very much for choosing me for your uncle. I promise never to make you or your parents regret you choosing me. Thank you very much. I believe in you. That is why I chose you. Thank you. So let's go. <laughs> 